Hi, friends. Today we will learn a few important purposes of comma in English language. So let's start. First and foremost, we use comma to separate three or more words, phrases, or clauses written in a series. Let's learn with example. Jimmy, Bill, and Harry are selected for the dancing competition. Here we have used commas to separate the names. Did you notice that we have put and before the last name and not a comma? Let's have a look at more examples. I have ordered pizza, mushroom sandwich, and orange juice. Again, you can notice that we have used and before the last name and not a comma. Here we have another example. We saw monkeys, foxes, zebras, wildcats, and many more animals in the zoo. Now, here too we have to use commas to separate the initial items in the list. But for the last part, we have used and. Here we have another example. She packed many snacks, biscuits, and juices for the picnic. Here again, you can notice that we have to use commas to separate initial items in the list. And for the last item, we use and. Now we have learned how to separate names using commas. Now let's learn how we can separate phrases and clauses in the same way. Here we have example. The government has promised to reduce unemployment, bring down prices, and improve law and order. Here you can see we have three phrases in this sentence. Reduce unemployment, bring down prices, improve law and order. And we have separated the initial ones using a comma and the last one using and. Let's take another example. There were flowers of different colors, some fruit trees, some plants, and lush green grass in the garden. Here again we have separated phrases using comma. Here we have another example. A very interesting play, some melodious songs, a few rhythmic dances were the major features of the program. Here again, we have not separated just words, but phrases using comma. Now let's learn another important use of comma. We also use commas in a sentence after an introductory clause or phrase. Let's have examples. Though the problem was not very difficult, no one in the class was able to solve it. Here, the introductory phrase, though the problem was not very difficult, is separated from the rest of the sentence using a comma. Since last Saturday, I haven't seen my pet, Croco. Here again, the introductory phrase, since last Saturday, has been separated from the rest of the sentence using a comma. Let's have more examples. To win the medal, you need to practice day and night. Here again, we have separated the introductory phrase to win the medal using a comma. Yes. This is the right design for my bedroom. Here we have use comma after the introductory word yes. Here we have more examples. Now, this style won't suit me. Well, I don't think he will stop trying. Here again we have separated the initial introductory words using the comma. Here is another usage of comma. We also use commas to separate a phrase or a group of words in the end of a sentence that indicates contrast in thought. 
It was a well-planned program, not on the spot celebration. Here, we have separated the phrase in the end of the sentence that indicate contrasting thoughts. It was a mistake, not a crime. Here we have separated a phrase in the end of the sentence. He is the best suitable candidate for this position, isn't he? Here again we have separated the last phrase which is contrasting from the previous sentence using a comma. Now let's learn how we use commas in dates. The rules for placing commas in dates aren't very stable these days. There are more than one ways to write dates. Let's have a glance at some of them. These are some ways we can write dates. Look carefully and see the usage of commas in these dates. In first one, we have used comma after the date. In the second one, we have used abbreviation for month and comma after the date. In the third one, we have not used any comma, and all are right in their own sense. Here we have some example sentences in which dates are written. On March 16, 2018, our school will celebrate its Silver Jubilee. Here we have used comma after the date to separate date from the year. In July 2018, we shall visit England. Here, in July 2018 is an introductory phrase which is separated using the comma, and July and year is also separated using a comma. Now let's learn how we use comma while writing addresses. As you know, an address is always written in parts, and each part may further have some parts. Now let's learn how to write an address. In the first line, always write the name of the addressee or the recipient. In the second line, write the street address or post office box number. In third line, write the city, state, and zip code and all separated using a comma. Here we have an example address. In the first line, we have given the name of the addressee or the recipient. And in the second line, we have given the street address. In the third line, we have written the city, state, and zip code. All separated using commas. And in the last line, we have given the country name. Let's have a look at more example addresses. So, we can see in all the addresses in the first line, we write the name of the addressee or the recipient. And in the second line, gives the street address. Post office number is also given along with this street address. In the third line, we mention the city, state, and zip code, all separated using commas. And in the last line, we mention the country. When we write address in different lines like this, there is no need to put a comma while starting a new line. But while writing the address in a sentence, its different parts are separated using commas like this. Commas are also used to separate countries from the cities, states, and provinces. For example, Michael lives in London, UK, near a sea beach. His brother John has just built the house in Washington, D.C., USA. So we always separate city, state, or province using a comma. So friends, we have learned a lot about using commas. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!